Once there was a crow. It had a burning desire to look more beautiful. The crow lived in a big tree, where some peacocks also lived. It saw the beautiful plumes of the peacocks and cherished the desire to look like one of them. It often cursed itself for being ugly. It scorned the whole crow community being black and ugly. It had the ambition to improve like a peacock so that the people may praise it. To fulfill its ambition, it thought about how to look as beautiful as a peacock. After deep thinking, it found an ambitious plan. It decided to collect dropped-off feathers of the peacocks and fix them up into its own, so that it may look beautiful like a peacock. <laughs> The poor crow never thought that only fixing the feathers could not make it a peacock. There are many other things such as color, size and crest, which are the essentials of a peacock. After putting on the feathers of the peacock, the crow considered itself to be a peacock. It was beside itself with joy. It decided to go and live with the peacocks. It took a long flight and reached the place where some peacocks were walking around. It walked up and down among the peacocks. The peacock saw the strange bird with surprise. It looked half crow and half peacock. The peacocks are known for their self-pride. They could not tolerate a crow posing to be a peacock. They could not unsee the presence of an imposter among themselves. At once, they pounced upon the crow and broke some of its artificial feathers. The crow was able to save its life with great difficulty. It flew at full speed for its life. The crow took a long flight and reached the place where some crows were perching. It began to move about proudly among the crows. The crows took it to be a different bird, resembling a peacock. They could not brook the presence of a peacock among themselves. They attacked it, pecking it hard with their beaks. Again the crow had to fly away for its life. It was pained at heart and flew to a lonely tree in the jungle. It did not know what to do. It still had tried to improve itself by fixing peacock's feathers into its own. However, it did not work. The crow was not welcomed even by the crows. Rather, it was attacked again for being an imposter. The crows disowned it. It was at a loss to know what to do now. At last, it tore off all of its peacock feathers and became a crow again. It was only then that the crows owned it as one of them and accepted it among themselves. The crow had a bitter experience. It learned a lesson for life. 